Hello, Internets, and welcome to part two in the exciting series of How I Do Things. Um, for those of you that did not see my crochet video, the summary is that I have a genetic condition that basically fuses me in one position like a human statue, and that makes it very exciting to do things like, say, crochet, or knit, or eat, or various other things. Anyway, today we are talking about knitting. Now, I don't remember when exactly I learned to knit, because at some point I remember reteaching myself how to knit, but obviously I had had to be able to knit at some point before that to be able to reteach myself, <laughs> and I really don't remember. And I have somewhere bags of projects that I don't really remember starting, and I'll probably never finish, but Anyway, so I've been, or I've been knitting, excuse me, for a really, really long time. Um, as you might imagine, this was a lot easier when I could actually move. The condition I have is progressive, so I used to be able to actually move. At this point, this is the range of motion that I have. So what I am demonstrating today is just flat knitting because circular knitting is a beast of a totally different color. Um, what I have right here is a um, scarf that I started in 2011. Um, I started it for TV knitting um, and then stopped for a really long time because I lost mobility and was really frustrated with how slow knitting was when you can't move. Um, these are 14 inch, I believe, double point needles, although I'm just using them as regular straight needles. Um, worsted weight yarn, and it's the, the pattern is the one row hand spun scarf from Stephanie Pearl McPhee, um, which is basically knit, knit, knit through the back loop, purl, and that repeated over and over again until you get bored of it. Um, I am actually quite bored of it, but there's a slight problem that I am halfway through the second skein of yarn, and I have to actually commit to three skeins of yarn because the first skein, you can't really see it in this video, but it has very different colors. Um, so I, I had two of those and I figured two wasn't enough for a scarf, ha ha ha. Um, so I would get some more and make a third. These, so these other skeins I got were a different dye lot. Um, the transition point is right here, where my fingers, finger is. Um, so there's a lot more blue, a lot less of the green. So what I'm doing is putting the different dye lot in the middle. That means that not only do I have to finish this dye lot, or this skein, but then I have to go back and do an entire skein of the original dye lot, if I can find it. Um, so this may never get finished, but it's a good demonstration piece for how I currently knit. Um, so there's the thing where I cannot bring my fingers together. Now, usually people knit with their hands, you know, right about, here on the needle. Um, as you can see, I can't get both of my hands there at the same time. So right now the only way I can knit using needles is to use super long needles. And I hold both of them fairly far back, about halfway down the needles, about seven inches back. Um, I knit English style, which means I have the yarn in my right hand and the working needle in my right hand. And everything, so this is a knit. This is a knit. This is a knit through the back loop. This is changing the yarn. 
is this pearl. And so on. As you notice, I drop the right needle every time I have to wrap the yarn. This did not used to be the case, but um, I, I used to be able to just kind of hold it like this. Well, hold it like this and then balance it on my fingers to wrap the yarn. I don't have that much wrist mobility right now. So um, I am stuck with this, which is an even this amount of movement is very straining on me. Um, I use, I have to use bamboo because the needles need to be sticky. Um, I am dropping and it's pretty much vertical. Metal needles would totally slide out of the stitches. Um, and what I'm going to show you in a moment is that the ends of rows and beginnings of rows are a complete and utter pain, literally as well as figuratively. There's a reason why I have been doing a lot more crochet than knitting. So with this last stitch, I can't just get the needle through all the time. So sometimes what I have to do is shift so that I'm actually holding the stitch with my left hand and then move my left hand back which sometimes results in dropping the stitch off the left needle. Did I mention that the ends of rows are a complete and utter pain? It's not quite... Ugh. Okay. By the way, I have no script for this thing, so I'm just kind of babbling, which is why I sometimes start sentences and then move on to a totally different thing. So switch hands, preferably, preferably without dropping things. Turn. So remember how I kind of drop the needle and hold it vertical? Yeah, so with the first stitch, for one thing it doesn't always go through as smoothly. For another thing, there is nothing holding it here. So I have to pull the last stitch tight and try to use yarn tension. Obviously that does not always work. Sometimes I drop the needle. Sometimes I drop the needle all the way so I can't get it back. This is where having a service dog comes in a little bit of handy, but I try to not involve him. So usually what I do is I kind of rest it in the crook of my elbow here, just sort of like armpit knitting, but not quite and then wrap the yarn and pull through. Knit, rest. The problem with doing this, especially with this yarn, is that this yarn tends to split. So I have to be very careful of how I wrap and pull through. Once I have two or three stitches, I can go back to the dropping the yarn and having it vertical, which helps in terms of getting the yarn over the tip of the needle, but it makes everything quite slow. And I don't do a lot of knitting these days, partly because it is an extreme workout trying to get the yarn where it is supposed to be 
and I love it when I lose my place. Okay, uh, I need to get back. Oop. Uh, I will say that being able to read one's knitting is a very useful skill. But this is also the best pace at which I can knit. Um, it has taken me about 10 minutes to do one row. Approximately. Um, obviously I've been chattering for some of that, but it's not a fast process. Which is why this scarf will probably never get finished, because scarves are interminable anyway, even when you can knit them faster than one row in ten minutes. Now, one problem I've noticed is that I haven't figured out how to knit in the round yet. There's two problems. One is that my stomach is right here. Um, like, my hands, basically my fingers are brushing my stomach. So I can't have the circular part of the thing come closer to me because my knitting is basically right up against my stomach when I work. Um, but having work, working on the closer side of the teacup, as it were, the needles want to be like this, which doesn't work so well when I can't actually reach out. So I've been playing around with different ways of trying to be able to knit in the round. So there are so many things that you can do in the round. Technically anything you can do in the round, you can do flat and seaming up, technically. But the problem is that, for one thing, I hate seaming. For another thing, it can be difficult to convert patterns that are written for in the round, especially if they spiral. And there's probably a third thing, but I forget what it is. Anyway, so I can knit flat. But it is slow, and a lot of hard work. I really hate doing things like ribbing or seed stitch or anything else that involves a lot of switches between knits and purls because every time I have to wrap the yarn, it, um, I mean, move the yarn from front to back or back to front, it's as much effort as making a stitch. So something like seed stitch or one-by-one uh, -one ribbing or whatever, I'm actually doing double the effort because you knit and then make the effort to move the yarn, and then purl, and then make the effort to move the yarn. Now, I have actually had people say, well, why don't you try Continental? Continental is where you have the yarn in your, if I can find it, there we go, in the hand that is not holding the working needle. Um, now I can sort of, I'm going to 
chink back a couple of stitches. It's a bit thank you, Tink English. Tink is just a knit. It's called that because Tink is literally knit backwards. And that's what you're doing. Well, I'll just tink back one stitch so that it's regular knit. So my left hand has less wrist mobility than the right, which is a pain. Now you'd think that um, Continental would be easier for me since I figured out how to crochet. Um, and in fact, the hold I have for knitting is quite similar to the hold I have for crochet. I'm holding the stitches the way I hold the fabric and I'm holding the yarn the way I hold the yarn. But so I stick it through, and because I'm kind of pulling back, it's very hard to get the yarn to stay where it wants to be. So if I do a knit through the back loop, one thing I have dropped the yarn, which is not great for tension or efficiency. Wrap the yarn. It does not want to stay. This is trying to knit through the back loop. Now the thing is that usually people who knit continental can kind of bring the needle towards them. I can't. So knitting through the back loop is close to impossible. I can of course do it well, even knitting backwards doesn't, I mean, wrapping backwards doesn't help. So I'm going to redo this one in English. I like Continental in theory, but I also have the very common problem of what the heck do you do with a purl stitch? Because, well, I'll, for one thing, Getting the needle to behave is a pain. So I bring the yarn in front of the needle, which is granted easier than it is for English. Do it, and I cannot get the yarn through. Um, a lot of continental knitters will hold the yarn with their right hand. That doesn't work. Um, again, I can wrap backwards, but that still doesn't work for me. Um, so then I end up going back to English. And English works a lot better for my situation because... What the heck am I doing? Wrap, okay. Because you want to pull the yarn this way, and that's what naturally happens with English knitting. I'm just going to finish up this row and then tuck the scarf away for later. This scarf has been being worked on for five years now and it is about halfway done. Um, granted, a lot of that, I mean, it hasn't been knitted solidly for the last five years. I took a very long break when I lost mobility and stopped being able to knit the way I could before because my muscle memory wanted to do the usual stuff, but my body would not let it. Plus, there's the fact that, you know how I mentioned it's slow? I've never been a speed knitter. I'm not going to win any speed knitting competitions. But I have been filming this for about 20 minutes and have made a row and a half of progress. My 
arms are exhausted, especially upper arms right in here, um, both sides, because there's a lot of trying to pull against the bone. Um, I'm a little winded because, again, there's this straining, there's this trying to do things that my body won't do. Um, so I would, I, I miss being able to knit properly. Um, I've tried loom knitting and I can do it, but I haven't figured out all the tricks, plus it's not the same as knitting. I mean, it, it has, you, you can get the same end result if you have the right tools. Um, but it is one of the things I liked about knitting was just the rhythm of knit, wrap, knit, wrap, knit, wrap, knit, wrap. So this was about the pace that I used to be able to do. Knit, wrap, switch, purl, wrap, switch, knit, wrap, stitch, purl, wrap, etc. Um, and obviously with long stretches of just knitting, it would go much faster because it just knit, 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 scooch, knit, scooch. Um, I can't do that speed anymore. So part of the reason I don't do as much knitting as I used to is just frustration with myself, with my limitations, um, with the fact that I like knitting things in the round. Another thing that I actually meant to mention and totally forgot is, let me see which of these actually has the stitches. Okay, this one's stitched below. So this needle is, I believe, yeah, five millimeter. Um, it's fairly sturdy. I mean, I can break it if I want to, but I won't. Um, but if I'm down here and trying to get, maneuver something into the yarn, it stays where I want to. If I'm working with fingering weight or sock weight or lace weight yarn and not doing the sort of lace that's appropriate with five millimeter needles, the needles get a lot bendier. Um, this is more true for bamboo than for other materials, but like I said, I need the bamboo for its grabbiness. Um, because if I try to knit with metal needles, it will slip out. Um, so I can't, for example, do socks anymore because A, knitting in the round, can't really do that. B, the needles bend, and when the needles bend, you stick it in the, the stitch, wrap the yarn, and then you're trying to pull the yarn through, and there's, the, the yarn just springs off, and the needle's just sitting there like, ha ha, I don't have a stitch anymore. And so it's even slower than with this, because each stitch takes five to seven tries. Um, I could do worsted weight or bulky socks, knitted flat and seamed, except seams are even worse on socks than they are on hats. Um, and I just, I, I've tried looming socks and I haven't really gotten the heel and toe down. Um, plus there's the fact that when you're working with a rigid loom, and yes, there will be another video on looming, but um, you can't really try it on as you go. That was one of the fun things about using, about knitting socks is just, you know, getting a perfect fit. Can't do that. Um, so there are a number of issues that I have right now with knitting, which is why I'm doing a lot more crochet. Um, I have thought about using crochet hooks to knit. 
Um, this has come up a couple of times on Ravelry forums where you like take a take crochet hooks two of the same size and use them like knitting, but it would help with you know hooking the yarn and pulling through, especially if you're doing continental. Um, where it's basically sort of like crocheting, only not. Um, I haven't actually tried that. Um, one of the potential problems is that the you want a hook on your working needle to make it easier, but then the hook on the other needle will catch on the yarn as you try to take the stitch off. Um, but like I said, I haven't tried that. Um, if anyone has any other suggestions, aside from, you know, getting a robot body, which would be lovely, but um, doesn't seem in the future, um, please feel free to suggest stuff. I may say, I've tried that. I may say, ooh, I haven't tried that. Um, I may, if the suggestion involves, like, things that I literally can't do, I will head tilt at you, um, which is especially fun because I cannot actually tilt my head. So head tilting involves tilting the chair. Hi, I'm tilting my head at you. Um, not really. Anyway, so that is my video on knitting, and if anyone has actually watched this almost half hour video, I commend you. See you next time.